Welcome to Brooke Bites, your weekly LinkedIn bite-sized show with me, Brooke Sellis. Each week, in just two minutes or less, I'll dive into the dynamic world of social media customer care. Stay ahead of the curve with quick news, the latest trends, and insightful strategies in digital customer care. Spoiler alert, but we may go over time today just by a little bit because I want to talk about something that bothers me. And that is that interest does not equal intent. I may be interested in reading the article on your blog or I might be interested in downloading the ebook that you just put out. But that doesn't mean that I have intent to buy from you. We need to do a better job of learning what intent signals are and then, and only then, start selling to those people, especially when we're talking about social media. I want you to think of intent signals like you would lead scoring. If you had lead scoring in your CRM, they usually assign flames based on uh, points and uh, those points tie to what people do. They visit your website, they download an item, they sign up for your newsletter, et cetera, et cetera. When we think about social media conversations, let's set up a lead score or a intent score. We're working on this test with the consumer tech client right now, and the case study is going to be fascinating. Here's an example of how to get that hot lead or intent to five flames. Let's say five flames is the highest. Let's say someone comes to your social channel and they ask you a sales support question. We're going to go ahead and give them three flames, right, out of the five because they're asking an intent question. We know they're on the path to purchase because they are researching and they came to our page. Let's say we're an ice cream shop. They came to our page and they said, hey, do you have mint chocolate chip ice cream? They're thinking about buying some ice cream. Once we answer their question, many times they don't say anything back, right? There's no actual intent there. There's interest but it didn't turn to intent. So now let's say they come back though and they follow up with another question or they give a comment about your product or your service. In the ice cream case, let's say they come back and they say, oh my gosh, yay, mint chocolate chip is my favorite. They've come back now and given us more information. They've shown an intent to come back to this conversation and give you more information on your product or your service. So at this point, we'd probably add two flames, leading us to five flames total. Now that they've got five flames in our ice cream example, we can now sell to this person. But five flames, we'd offer them a discount or a promo. Hey, Brooke, we, we love mint chocolate chip ice cream too. And if you come in today and use this code, you'll get a buy one, get one coupon. If Brooke comes in and then uses that coupon code, that money gets attributed to that social media conversation to your social media customer care, your social media team, whatever it may be. This is how you do social selling. It's based on intent, not interest. And it should lead to an intent score where you're prescriptively selling someone when they show interest and intent. We need to, again, understand that interest is an intent and we need to focus more on intent. If you raise your eyebrows at this, let's chat. Go over to our website, bsquared.media, and look for any of those chat with Brooke buttons. I would love to talk to you about how we're doing this for our clients and how we can maybe do it for you. 